So today, I can't even see what I'm doing. Today, lesson was learned. Uh, that's how you do this sometimes. I tried to cut with this McLean. It's taken apart now because I ordered a front roller and a back lapping kit. I've never back lapped this McLean, so it's just sitting here. I was cutting with it, and I'm guessing, probably because it's 25 inch, 10 blade, the cut was looking better. But what I didn't realize is, is I was really tearing up my yard because it was so dull. And I was actually hating on my California trimmer. Uh, California trimmer was used to do a uh, scalp. Beginning of, I can't even remember now, beginning of July, I think. And it dawned on me earlier this week after cutting with this and saying, oh, how great that is. And it's so much better than a California trimmer. It dawned on me that I had not backlapped that thing since I did the scalp. And I felt the blades and they were dull. And I did a good backlap on it, but it's still, they're still not like super sharp. So let's go out here and do a cut with California trimmer today. And this is what we get. And today, once again, I'm going to say <laughs> the green that I'm seeing with my eyes and the green that Samsung wants to show you is so ridiculously different. I mean, I hate iPhone, but I almost would rather record this kind of stuff on an iPhone. Anyways, this is the cut that the California trimmer put down today. You're seeing a lime green, I think. At least that's what my camera's showing me. I'm seeing like a pine green. I, I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, the sky is like four shades bluer than it really is in real life. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is supposed to simulate having those crazy, crazy sunglasses on. Either way, sidetracked. This is California trimmer cut, and it is really nice after being backlapped. And scalp marks from the McLean. And that's what I was going to get to. Because it was so dull, it didn't do it so bad here because this yard has been leveled. It's not, this yard is by no means perfectly leveled, but it's been leveled three years in a row. So it's got somewhat of a level to it. Over here, the McLean, you can see. Actually, this is where the oversaturation helps. <laughs> you can see scalp marks everywhere. And they're not true scalp marks. They're where it was, that's paint from Spectrum. It's where the mower was getting bunched up. You can see this is a good one, where it was getting bunched up and just really did a number to the grass. So I cut this with the California trimmer today and it really didn't take much off. I just wanted to get over it and see um, won't be using that McLean again until it's back lapped and got the roller on and had some service done to it because, like I said, lesson learned. Uh, the front yard had some of this, so I stopped mowing with this, with the McLean. Look at this way. It looks like a fresh scalp. Luckily, it's only August 19th. Today, I just put some stuff down on it. So I'll show that in a minute. So it should come back. Didn't get it too bad here. This is the putting green. I tried to use the uh, California trimmer on the putting green. Another lesson. This is uh, too, it's too soft. And the California trimmer is too heavy. So there's one of two things I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to continue using the electric, which doesn't cut as low as the California trimmer. So this is like the lowest cut I've ever had on this. And it did a really good job. Or I'm going to start rolling this, which I should be doing anyways. So I think I'm going to go with that option. I'm going to order a roller. Because I'm going to need that anyways for any leveling jobs I'm going to do. But the putting green is coming in really good. Like I said, if you get close, it's a really short cut on that. You can see. With the roller on the California trimmer, it drops it, they say, anywhere from an eighth to something else. So that is... I can tell by looking at it that that's less than half an inch that I cut. I didn't even go to the lowest setting, but I'm gonna I want to roll that and get that ground harder before I start. But I will be able to maintain the putting green with California trimmer, so that's good news. So today, to dull blade, 
dull blade. Dull blade. Not a good idea. Um, today, I did these two. Sunday, and then I had some of this. You know, this whole bottle says because it was 6,400 square feet. Um, I had about a third of a bottle left, and I did about 5,000 square feet with it. So it's a lower dose than what it should be getting anyways. But I have um, put down PGF, completely PGF balance on this within the last two weeks. And I'm pretty sure one of those has iron, if not both of them. So let's see what happens. I'll put the Sunday down on this with the iron. And just for, uh, you know what they say, shits and giggles. I put the Sunday on this, which is already nice and green. It almost looks like if I stand back here, the green is the right color. Maybe it's what the where the sun is. I have to learn how to how to uh, manage that kind of stuff. I know some people that know what they're doing, so maybe I should talk. And there's the new ride, of course. So yeah. California trimmer got some hate earlier in the week, but no, nah, that thing is still a great machine. And I feel like for the, for the front yard, especially when as it gets more and more level, season after season, that cut I'm going to be able to bring that cut down like almost to what I have back there on the uh, putting green, and that is the ultimate goal. I would like my front yard to look like that. So no more hating on that cow trimmer. It's a great machine she ain't going nowhere but we are going to fix this and we are going to get this up to speed because i i know i've seen enough i know that this not just because it's mclean but 10 blades 25 inches the cut's going to look better when the machine's running right so that is the winter project the off-season project is to get this mclean up and running